ICT Integration Workshop 6.1. This time we're going to go through collaboration, cooperation and sharing. Now, after I've explained what these are, I'm going to make a few more videos giving you some examples of collaborative learning, which is uh, shared notes using Google Docs, shared teaching using a teaching tool, which is an example I'll, I'll explain, and then a shared experience, uh, such as the Gelatissimo uh, excursion. After that, I'm going to go through teaching for the future. So how to make a podcast, and I'm going to explain the pod smash. I'm going to talk about adaptive learning, and one of my favorite ones is stage of the flipped classroom. Now, there's two versions of teaching. In cooperative learning, it's, it's the, the instructor is in the center of the authority of, in the classroom. So basically the sage on the stage. Um, group tasks are closed-ended, so and having specific answers. So this is exemplified by setting up a science prac um, where this, the teacher has planned everything, the students are learning cooperatively um, and trying to come up with the, uh, the answer and the results that the teachers already planned. So the, there's, it's not really investigative in the such that you don't know what the answer is, you're trying to come up with the answer the teacher wants you to come up with. In contrast, collaborative learning is more the where the instructor gives up their authority. So this is more the guide on the side. Um, it's great for small group tasks and open-ended complex tasks. Um, so, so for example, problem-based learning. Now, some examples of this is basically collab what collaborates when you're working together. So you may have students who are working on the same task and they're pooling their knowledge and resources and coming up with one product that they've both worked on together. Cooperating is kind of more where you're splitting up the work. So you go, okay, well you work on this part and I'll work on this part. Sharing is almost where you've worked on your own piece of work and then you're sharing it with somebody else. Now that may be as simple as getting up and presenting. Uh, it may be where you've done some research and you then pass it on to the next person and someone else will pass it back to you. So all these three are kind of entangled. Uh, you can do them all together or all, all separate, but generally when you're doing a task, we do one or the other. Uh, for in, I've said down the bottom, problem-based learning, case studies, simulation, learning communities. There's so many different ways of doing um, collaboration and this, this style of teaching. What you would need to do is decide as a teacher, how do you want to teach? Do you want to be the sage on the stage? Do you want to control everything in the classroom and make sure that you know what's going on? Um, have a very disciplined classroom and make sure the students are learning what you want them to learn? Or are you more the guy on the side? Do you want the students to be doing all the research and, and investigations and coming up with the answers? So you are not the center of attention. You're not the font of all knowledge. You are encouraging the students to come up with their own learning and becoming real independent learners. Right, so we're going to do the next videos now and we'll see how we go.